Well, basically, we have been preparing for an amount of nine months. And basically, it's been kind of this whole preparation where we get a whole aspect of the competition and what it's going to be like when we actually get there. We have done concentrations online and in person. We actually held one in the beginning of January. And it was so rewarding to see, get to put all of this into practice in person with all of us. And we've basically gone over the rules, gone over debating, gone over speeching, all these different tools that we will be needing in order to compete at Nismun. Basically, Nismun is a competition where students come from all around the world. It's about 8,000 students, and it's actually divided up into two sessions. We are going to be going into the first session, and basically what you do there is you represent a country. You take the stance of a country. We will be representing two countries, Croatia and Iraq, and we will be representing them in different aspects. So me, myself, I'm going to, the UNI to UNICEF. We also have a, a peace committee, we also have some animal committees, and basically you get to represent the country. And what you want to do is you're aiming towards a goal, which is to find a solution for this problem. It's called model of the United Nations, you're not actually solving the issue, but you're pretending to while you're taking the stance of a country through debating, speeching, and getting to work with other people with a lot of diplomacy. I really like the experience. I anticipate that it's going to be challenging, but I'm prepared and I'm just really excited that we get to interact with a bunch of different people from different backgrounds. For me, I think it's hearing other countries dance because me and my partner, Emete, we got Iraq, which isn't your typical country, so we got to hear about their religion and their beliefs. We're really excited. We also feel very rewarded because we have inspired other schools to start their own delegations. Last year we were the first school or the first delegation to go to this competition and this year there's actually another school going and we just feel proud of ourselves for inspiring other people to take this act because it's something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. It's so rewarding and so amazing to know what you're going to do and to know that you're going to represent the country in the best way possible while representing your delegation. And of course you're nervous, you're always going to be nervous, but with the preparation that we've been having, we just know that we're going to do the best we can and that we want to win this and we're going to work for it. You have to be a good talker and a good speaker. Yes, that's so true. You need to understand your country, which is really necessary because you can't lie. You need to have the stance of your country and you need to understand the content. So you get two topics. Basically, it could be either for me, it's child abuse or immunization. And you need to understand them fully. You need to know every single little detail and that's going to help you be a good speaker because you're not going to mess up if you know your content. We want to thank our faculties who are going to be watching this and we just want to say that this is because of you. We're here and we're going to do the best we can and we're so happy. Um, that we get to go to New York and experience this amazing thing. So thank you and fingers crossed that we get an award.